lot of bait. Today it is all about the sea robins. Summer sea robins. We're doing the clam today. They didn't have any bunker. We could get some. But uh, working with the fish finder rig, clam bait, and uh, hopefully get some fluke. There'll probably definitely be sea robins out. So I'm gonna get her out there and okay, we'll see how see if they're biting. Gonna start short. Definitely got robins. We're going with clam strips. Oh, a whole lot of fruit on this. I catch these all day if need be. Smaller robin than what we've been getting. But they're all more to fun. And using the clam, the clam definitely has go time. It lasts a long time. Today's all about the summer sea robins. They're definitely active fish. The boat just got hit there. We're gonna fish through robins. So that's a that's a nice big clam. Looks like a chicken cutlet. Um, I'll show you how I cut it. So basically, this is how I cut them all with these bigger clams. It's a nice sized clam, like I said. So basically, you have this the danglers. So they run too. What I'll do is I'll cut them somewhere in the middle. So you get a couple of strips, and that's what we're doing. We're making strips. And then you salt your clam a little, but it's staying on forever. Cut that in two. Now the, the main part of the clam is I'm gonna cut that piece off right there. And I'm really not gonna use that part of it. Turn that clam over, and I'm going to cut. This is the best part. So you have the, uh, the guts. I'm going to cut them into strips. So we have a clam all strip. A lot of strips out of one clam. And thinner, a little thinner. The more dangly they get in the water, and that's what we want. What I'll do is I'll take one of these. You can put up whatever, three, four. And I'll show you how I hook them on in a little bit. This is clam strips. We have today summertime sea robins. Summertime sea robins. That actually makes some good bass bait, and I tell you, though, probably going to be some big bass out at night. Oh, slow down, but it's cooler day. So it's like the heart of the summer and there's tons of sea robins working the clam bait. So there's one now. This is definitely summer sea robin. Oh, he's spitting out clams. I'll show you the rig and how we're cutting the bait. Love these things. Just fun summertime. Fishing in the bay. Fishing. And it is cool out today, actually. I think it's an extra big robin. Summertime sea robins. Looking for a fluke. Let me show you the rig in a little bit. Really good hook set, active fishing, these guys are just screaming through, no telling what else is going to come through. Actually feels like fall. And I'm using my pen sweater today. There's a plenty of robins, definitely keeping it busy. There's like, cool thing is, you know they're there, and uh, definitely you get a, a bunch of out fly fishing. Definitely gonna do that with them. Really, summer sea robins. So that's the bait I'm using. That's clam bait, and I like to do it in strips. I'm using bigger strips. Definitely the sea robins, they got bigger mouths. But also for a bigger fluke. You can put two, three strips on there. Uh, I'll show you how I cut them. You get them in. Again, summer sea robins today, tons out. Definitely keeping it busy. 
Um, got the clam bait on stripped clam bait. Just loads and loads of summer sea robins. On the clam bait. Keeping it busy looking for food, but oh, they're just not in yet. So this is a rig I'm using if you haven't seen it. I am using it's about a 2-0 hook today. And it is working wonders. The sharp octopus gamakatsu hook smell. That's 50 pounds. Good general weight to use. You can use 20, 30. Big barrel swivel. In case something big comes along. The bead, you know, slide your weight. And four ounces is ample right now in this current on a slider or a fish finder rig. And we got skates mixed in as well. 